Okay, so I'm going to explain the water walking glitch, the water walk, whatever. Um, essentially, you can do it in 3D or 2D levels, um, works just the same. The idea is that you throw the duck and as long as you are swimming before you catch the duck, you can then roll in the water, which um, initiates you to be able to uh, run or walk, whichever. So I'm going to demonstrate by throwing the duck here and catching it before I swim, which is caught and swimming. I'm now mashing roll and it's, you know, nothing's happening. Uh, sorry, I don't have input display, but I don't have it set up for PS5. So unfortunately, just got to try and explain it as best I can without. Um, so now I'll do a example of catching the duck after I am swimming already. So throw, swim, and I caught it. Now I can roll any time I like, and I'm running in the water. You can store it for as long as you want. As long as you catch that duck after you've already started swimming, you can swim as much as you want as normal, and, um, and then hit roll at any time, and this will be triggered. Uh, you can, from here, if you jump out of the water, it will reset the game to normal physics swimming. You can use crouch, which is when you are swimming, lowers you. And you can jump out again. Um, but yeah, as soon as you jump out of the surface, it uh, reverts back to regular swimming. This has a use in any percent currently in the 2D level, which I'm going to get to right now and show the skip. Okay, so here we are. It is a 2D level. It is uh, the library, the basement or sewers underneath the library after the puzzle. So ordinarily in this level, you would come from this spot and climb up here, take a right and pull this lever and um, you know go over and pull another lever to open the gate above here, this one. Um, the skip is going to take you right through here and up onto here to just you know miss that entire portion. It saves uh, about 25 seconds. Mm, yeah, about 20, 20 to 25, depending on how quick you do it. Um, the easiest way to do this, I found, is you see that bit of white paper that's in front of Tad right now? That is the point in which I initiate a roll uh, as I'm running towards it. I do kill the bat that was here first, just to get that out of the way. It is completely in the way. And then I roll, throw duck, get in swim, and now I can swim as much as I want, because I caught the duck when I was swimming, and then roll... And now I am, you know, walking, well, in this case, crouching for some reason. Don't know why, but then you can just jump out. That is it. That is the skip. This is a climbable ledge here if you need it. If you, for whatever reason, are walking too low and uh, need to jump out. Um, but uh, ideally, you want to skip that ledge grab as well and just do the one or none, I should say. Um, yeah, that's it. You can do it from standing on this ramp if you are quick enough. So throw, swim, roll. That's literally it. It's it's pretty easy once you get the fact that you have to be swimming before Tad catches it. The Catching the duck is what breaks a lot of things in this game. For whatever reason, the catching the duck animation, that's what's breaking levers when you pull a lever and catch the duck. Um, and are able to move when it doesn't want you to. So it kind of follows along with that principle. But yeah, that's it. Water walking.